What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is 4K sneak peek for November of 2023. This is where I give you the rundown of every single brand new 4K that is currently on the schedule to be released in the month of November. So that way you can prioritize your budget, organize the finances, and make those tough decisions on what you'd like to pick up on day one and which other movies can wait for a future sale. Now this past month of October has been stacked with so many awesome brand new 4k releases but i think november is going to have october beat especially the week of thanksgiving that tuesday is so stacked with major new releases we're probably all going to be broke for christmas but let's start off with the first week of november which is november 7th we have gran turismo gran turismo is coming out finally on physical we are getting a regular 4K slip as well as 4K steelbook. Now, I did go and see this movie at the theater, but I gotta be honest, I'm not really sure whether I want to pick up Gran Turismo or not, because yeah, I did enjoy the movie, and usually I do gravitate towards biopics, and I do pick them up, but I'm not really sure about this one because for some reason it seemed more like a one-time watch for me. So I'm kind of conflicted. Maybe I'll just wait for a future sale. Right now, I'm not really sure what I want to do when it comes to Gran Turismo. Yes, it does have David Harbour, and I do enjoy David Harbour. If it was Jason Statham, it would be an automatic pickup. But because it's... I'm just joking. But because it's David Harbour, I'm, I'm just not sure. This one, I'm kind of going back and forth with right now. I probably will wait for a future sale because I'm not really sold on the steelbook. I don't have to have the steelbook. It's not the best looking steelbook to me. So, and there's a lot of other 4K releases as I go down the list that I'm interested in. So this one isn't a priority pickup for myself. Moving on to the other David Harbour release on this day, and that is Violent Night. Violent Night is getting its 4K upgrade with a regular 4K as well as a 4K steelbook. Now this, on the other hand, I probably will pick up. This is one of those cases, just like with Megan, I do have the Blu-ray, however, I'm kind of enjoying the Steelbook, so I will probably go with the Steelbook. I really enjoyed this movie. This is a case of me absolutely loving David, Har David Harbour in the role of Santa. I loved his portrayal, and this movie is definitely into the yearly viewing around Christmas. Can I say this correctly? It's definitely going to be in the rotation of yearly viewing for Christmas time. There we go. That was a mouthful. I'm going to get this movie. I'm going to pick up this movie. So I will go for the 4K Steelbook. All right, moving on next, we have Scrooge getting a 4K upgrade as well as Trading Places as well. Both of these are only getting a 4K slipcover. Honestly, that's all that they need. I am so excited to pick up both of these. I think they're going to be around $19.99, which is a perfect price point. It's not too expensive because these are older releases. And I am definitely picking up both of these because I love Scrooge and I love trading places. So I'm very excited for both of these to get their 4K upgrades, and I cannot wait to watch them this holiday season. All right, next up we have Fargo on 4K, as well as Witness on 4K from Arrow. Now the Fargo 4K has been in the rumor mill for so long, it got a release date, and then it was retracted for some reason, and it finally went back on the schedule for November 7th. So I definitely want to pick up the 4K upgrade of Fargo. As far as Witness goes, I would like to pick this up as well. Probably not right away because with Arrow, you can always wait for a future sale. I don't need to have it on day one. I've never seen Witness actually. I'm probably going to surprise a lot of you. Maybe not, because I haven't seen a lot of movies for some reason. But Witness is one of those movies that I still have not seen. And I've heard great things about the movie. Also, Harrison Ford's performance in the film. I just have never gotten around to seeing it. So imagine seeing Witness for the first time on 4K. So this one, I'll wait for a future sale. And as far as Fargo, that is 
a preferable day one pickup. Next on the list is American Graffiti. How exciting is this one? Because this is an older film. Personally, my dad, Daddy Blu-ray, loves this movie. So I absolutely have to pick this one up. Regular 4K slip and also 4K Steelbook. I am going for the 4K Steelbook because personally, I think it looks amazing. Probably most likely a contender for top 10 steelbooks of the entire year because it just looks really, really nice. And this is also a case of Susan has never seen the movie. So what a great opportunity to watch it for the first time on 4K. So I definitely want to pick up American Graffiti as well. Majorly, mainly for Daddy Blu-ray, but also for myself. We also have Scarface. Scarface is getting another Steelbook release, this time 4K Steelbook. This isn't the first 4K Steelbook for Scarface, is it? I don't think it is. Maybe it's just another 4K Steelbook, a different 4K Steelbook, but I'm not sure if I want to pick this one up because I am targeting so many other brand new releases on this day, so I'm not sure that Scarface is at the very top of my list. I'm not the biggest fan of the movie. Yes, I have seen it one time, but I'm more of like Scorsese, Goodfellas, The Departed, kind of mob girl, I guess. I don't know. So Scarface for me isn't a priority. I don't have to pick it up on day one. So that one can wait. I'll put that one on the back burner. And a couple of more awesome looking steelbooks that we're getting on this day. We have Black Hawk Down 4K Steelbook, as well as The Guns of Navarone 4K Steelbook as well. As I said, these steelbooks are looking amazing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to pick them up. They're war movies. I'm not the biggest war movie fan. You guys already know this, but the steel books are looking so nice. I'm not opposed to watching them at all whatsoever. I'm not closed minded, but the war genre just really isn't my favorite. You know, it's very at the bottom of my list, but the steel books are looking so nice. So I'm not really sure what my plan is for these ones. Maybe down the road, I'm not really sure if they're going to be in store. Are they going to sell out? I have no idea, but they look absolutely amazing. Okay, let's move on to the following week, which is November 14th, starting off with the Equalizer 3, regular 4K as well as 4K Steelbook. I also believe there's going to be a 4K triple pack of all three movies. I could be wrong. I just last minute thought of that. I thought I saw a picture of that package. I just didn't take a screenshot of it. So regular 4K and 4K Steelbook for Equalizer 3. I am definitely picking up the 4K Steelbook. I have the two prior films, 4K Steelbook. And so I'm going to continue and pick up the 4K Steelbook for Equalizer 3 as well, because that movie is one of the best of the year to me. And I really want to complete the trilogy. So I definitely am targeting that Steelbook. Then we have another box set for The Twilight Saga. However, this one is looking extremely tempting. This is the Twilight Saga Collection 4K Steelbook box set. Just looking at these steelbooks, it is so tempting to pick up this box set because all of these steelbooks are looking absolutely fantastic. You may not be the biggest fans of this franchise, of these movies, but... If you're a steelbook collector, your heart starts to beat a little bit quicker, if you know what I'm saying, when you first saw these pictures. At least mine did. It kind of reminds me of the Hunger Games box set from Lionsgate that came out a couple of years ago. It's, it's pretty much the same kind of feeling. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe Santa Claus will bring this to me for Christmas this year. That would be nice, but... I'm not going to go out and pick it up on my own, if you know what I'm saying, because there's so many other items in the entire month that I'm interested in. So possibly a Christmas gift from Santa. That would be nice. All right. Next up on this date, we have The Nun 2 on 4K, as well as Sympathy for the Devil 
4K Steelbook. Now, normally with Sympathy for the Devil, because it does star my man, Nicolas Cage, I would be all over this. However, I knew the Steelbook was coming out, but I chose to pick up the Blu-ray because if I can save a little bit of money whenever I can, I'm going to choose to do so. And even though it's probably like $5 cheaper, I just went with the Blu-ray. So I already have the Blu-ray. I'm all set. As far as The Nun 2, this is probably coming to me from Warner Brothers and I'm looking forward because I need to know what this movie is. It's made so much money at the box office worldwide. It's absolutely insane. So I got to check out The Nun. I got to watch the regular Nun, the first Nun movie because I haven't seen the first film to uh, catch up with The Nun too. So I'm looking forward to to watching this and seeing it and seeing what the what the hype is all about because people just flock to this movie for some reason. All right, next up on the list is Rudy 4K Steelbook as well as Terms of Endearment 4K from Paramount Presents. I am so there for Terms of Endearment 4K from Paramount Presents because this movie, for some reason, I've been watching Terms of Endearment ever since I was little and I kind of grew up with this movie and I really enjoyed the performances given by Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger, their mother and daughter in the film, and they have a very push-pull, I love you but I don't agree with you at the same time kind of relationship and I think a lot of mothers and daughters can relate to that relationship. It, I don't know, it's just one of those movies that I've always watched. I've always, over the years, it's just, it's one of those films that just, I don't know, is kind of important to me. It is a Best Picture winner, I believe, so I would like to have an upgraded version of it because right now I only have the Blu-ray. So I would like to pick this up from Paramount Presents. And as far as Rudy goes, this is a high probability because I've never seen Rudy either shocking i know i've never seen i've never seen rudy of course i've heard about the film very inspirational i guess i just have never seen it so depending on price point and other items i'm picking up that day we will see if i pick up rudy all right now we have duel this is i believe steven spielberg's first movie ever Dual on 4K and also 4K Steelbook. Now this is being brought to us from Groove. I'm not sure if both the slipcover and the Steelbook is from Groove, but I already put in my pre-order for this a long time ago on Groove's website because this was supposed to come out, I think three or four months ago. It got delayed for some reason and they settled on November. So I have the Steelbook already pre-ordered Hopefully it won't get delayed again. So I'm looking forward to, to watching that one because, I mean, Spielberg as a director is iconic at this point and who doesn't want to see his first movie because I've never seen it. All right, next on, a lot of never seen it's for me. All right, next on the list is Color Out of Space 4K Steelbook and also The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot on 4K Steelbook as well. That's probably the longest title in movie history. But I believe these are the 4K Steelbooks that are going to be sold Walmart exclusive. This announcement came out a few months ago. And these Steelbooks, along with three other Steelbooks, because there's another Steelbook I'm going to mention right after this. So six Steelbooks combined were announced to be sold Walmart exclusive. As far as Color Out of Space, that's the one I'm interested in because that is Nicolas Cage. And the other movie with the long ass title that I'm not going to say again, um, I'm just not interested. I'm not interested in that one. So that one I can just bypass on and save a smidge of money and put it towards something else. Last on this date is Arizona 4K Steelbook as well as The Last Picture Show 4k criterion now arizona is another one of those movies that i just talked about walmart exclusive most likely i'm going to bypass on that one because there's other titles on that day that i'm just way more interested in so i don't need to pick up arizona 
and the last picture show 4k criterion I actually already own a 4K of The Last Picture Show because that was in the Columbia Classics Volume 3 box set. So I actually already own a 4K copy of this movie. So I am all set with The Last Picture Show. So I will bypass on that one as well. Okay, so now we are getting into the week of Thanksgiving. This is November 21st. And last minute, very last minute, this date became so crowded with a bunch of major brand new releases because Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was revealed a couple of days ago that it's coming out November 21st. So we are getting a regular 4K, a 4K steelbook, but not only that, we are also getting an Icon Edition 4K Walmart exclusive. And I have to be honest, the Icon Edition is looking pretty fantastic. But you know what? They're all looking very nice. The 4K Steelbook. I love the bomb going off in the background. And then just Oppenheimer in the front. The regular 4K slipcover. I mean, is it possible to triple dip on this? Absolutely. Because all versions just look amazing. And I definitely want this in my collection. It's one of the highest grossing movies of the entire year. I went to the theater to see this film and I enjoyed it, surprisingly enough, because I'm not the biggest fan of all of Christopher Nolan's filmography. Pretty much the, made, the, the main movies of his filmography I'm not really a fan of, but for some reason with Oppenheimer, I enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to watching it again with my parents because they like true life stuff like this, you know, true event stuff and thing like, things like that. So they did not get the chance to see it. So we will watch it together. But all versions of Oppenheimer on 4K are looking fantastic. All right, next we have Saw X. This was another last minute, very last minute addition to the release calendar. Regular 4K and also 4K Steelbook, we're assuming. Right now there is no picture of the 4K Steelbook. So I could not put anything up on the screen for you. So right now I'm just showing you the regular 4K slipcover. I am definitely picking this one up as well. This is probably one of the best installments of the entire Saw franchise. One, two, and X are top three for myself because this movie was just so refreshing. We're talking the 10th movie in a franchise that just blew all of us away, I believe, because we were not expecting this film to be as good as it was. So like I said, refreshing. I am definitely picking this one up. Another very last minute, like yesterday, this was added onto the schedule. Can you picture me trying to coordinate all of this and then last minute additions? It's very frustrating, but I managed to do it. All right, Expendables 4. Not the best film of the year, definitely not, but there is a lot of options for the 4K pickup. We have regular 4K slipcover, 4K steelbook, and also there's going to be an Amazon exclusive 4K steelbook as well. The Amazon exclusive is the steelbook of the fist with the ring. The regular 4K steelbook, which I appreciate from Lionsgate, is matching all of the other 4K steelbooks that were just released. It has the crow with the guns. It is a different color. It's like that lime green color. But what I appreciate is that at least it matches up with the rest of the franchise. I cannot tell you how many times we've collected a bunch of brand new steelbooks and then the latest movie gets released and the steelbook does not match all the other steelbooks that were just released. <clears throat> Mission Impossible, I'm looking at you. So thank you Lionsgate for matching the 4K steelbook with the rest of the franchise. I appreciate that. So I will most likely go, I mean, definitely, I'm going to go with the regular 4K Steelbook because I have all the other movies. Yes, the 4K Steel, yeah, what am I talking about? Yes, this movie was not the best movie, but I have all the rest of the franchise, so I might as well just cap it off because more than likely, this is the official end of the Expendables franchise. It's probably going to go out with a major whimper, and that really sucks, but I will pick up the final Steelbook. 
Then we have the Fugitive. The Fugitive is getting a 4K upgrade. And this slipcover is looking amazing. Regular 4K slipcover as well as 4K steelbook. Both of them look great. But the 4K slipcover, I don't know. It just looks fantastic. There's something about it. So I'm really looking forward to getting this one. I believe I should be getting this one in from Warner Brothers as well. And I'm very excited about it. Again, another another Daddy Blu-ray favorite that he's going to be excited about. So that is awesome. I told you the week of Thanksgiving is insane. And this could always change at any time. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video like I normally do, but movies could be added in at any time. Movies can be shifted around, taken away, delayed. So don't be surprised if movies do get shifted because it does happen every once in a while. All right, next up, now we have... The Resident Evil 4K Steelbook Collection, as well as Train to Busan and Peninsula Double Pack on 4K. I'm good with Train to Busan and Peninsula. I don't need to pick up the double pack. I have Blu-rays of both, so I'm fine for right now. And then Resident Evil, I just picked up the regular 4K box set when it went down to a decent price you know, always tempting to pick up those steel books, trust me. But with this one, I haven't even touched that Resident Evil collection. So I'm going to bypass on the steel books for right now. And I got to focus on watching the regular 4k collection, but it's tempting. Let me tell you, it is tempting. And finally, the 4k releases on this date, we have Stalag, and am, am I saying that correctly? Stalag 17 on 4K and also Mean Streets 4K Criterion. As far as Mean Streets go, definitely going to pick up this one. The Criterion sale will be happening and anything brand new from Criterion in the month of November during the sale is half price as well. Not a lot of people know that for some reason, but any 4K or I should say any Criterion during the Criterion sale is up for grabs for half price. So I am definitely picking up Mean Streets. It's Scorsese with Robert De Niro. I am there. That's all you gotta say, and I'm there. So I will go for that one. Stalag 17, honestly, I will bypass. I've never heard of this title, so therefore it's not a priority for myself, so I will bypass, but comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this film. Is it a possible future pickup for myself? I don't know. The final Tuesday of November, which is November 28th, we have the Naked Gun 4K Steelbook, as well as the Monster Squad 4K from Kino Lorber. So Kino Lorber, you know what that means for me. Don't need it right away. I will wait for a future sale, but I've heard of the Monster Squad so many times. For some reason, before I got into collecting physical media and being a part of the community here on YouTube, I never heard of this movie and I'm not really sure why because I feel like I grew up during the time period where this movie was popular and I just never heard of it. So I am interested, but it will be a future pickup during a sale and Naked Gun 4K Steelbook is a definite pickup. This is one of the best like hokey, weird comedies of all like parody movies of all time. So I'm definitely going to pick this one up. And let's be honest, the first one is the best one. So I, I really don't mind that the other two are not being <laughs> released, at least as of right now. I don't think they're being upgraded to 4K, but the first movie I'm definitely going to pick up. Then we have WandaVision 4K Steelbook and also Tales from the Dark Side, the movie on 4K. Tales from the Dark Side, never heard of it, never seen it. I will go ahead and bypass WandaVision. This one, I will probably ask Santa for this one as well, because as we know, the Disney Steelbooks for the Disney shows, I should say, are a little bit pricier. They're like $45. $50. And WandaVision, if I'm going to pick up any of the shows, WandaVision is the one that I really, really want because that was the first and I think that was their best. I know Loki has its fans, but I think WandaVision was an amazing show with the way that Elizabeth Olsen just showed her acting range and absolutely incredible. So I, Santa, can I have WandaVision, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'll ask Santa for it. All right, let's move on to 
uh, Aero. This is a huge release day for Aero products. So starting off with Barbarella, 4K from Aero, two different looks, limited edition. I'm not really sure why they're both limited. You would think one of them would be like a regular and the other one would be a limited edition, but apparently they're both limited. I'm not really sure why, but I'm not opposed to picking this up sometime in the future, as I said, because with Arrow, you can always order them down the line. Even though they say limited, I don't think they're going to be that limited. I don't know. Like, is everyone going for Barbarella? I think it'll hang around for a little bit. So maybe if it's there during a future sale for Arrow, I will pick up Barbarella, but it's not something that I need right away. Then we have from Arrow, Tremors 2 Aftershocks 4K. Now you have two different choices. There's green and there's orange, but I believe they're the same exact thing, just a color difference. So if you want green, if you want orange, you have two choices. This one is tempting as well because I just watched the first Tremors movie and I really, really enjoyed it. So maybe I will pick up this one, but again, future sale because it's Arrow. And the final Arrow, we have Black Hat on 4K from Arrow. This is not from Arrow. Death Wish on 4K starring Bruce Willis. Just to let you guys know, there's a difference there. So Black Hat 4K from Arrow, that has been on the schedule to be released for a while now. For some reason, it got delayed, it got delayed again. So the final release date, I think, is November 28th. And I believe this is starring Chris Hemsworth. I'm not even sure what this movie is about. So I'm not really sure whether I want to pick it up or not. I've never heard of this movie prior to, you know, doing the, the 4K sneak peek video for you guys. Or just, you know, regular physical media information. I've never heard of this movie. So I'm not really sure what it's about. I'm not sure if I want to put it into my collection. So that one is a question mark. Death Wish on 4K, I don't need this. I mean, I went to see this movie at the theater. It's kind of like a one and done, even though I know what Charles Bronson stars in the original, right? Death Wish. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. That one is like on a different level. If I'm going to pick up Death Wish, it's going to be the original with Charles Bronson, not the one with Bruce Willis. So I will gladly bypass and save some money on that one. And the final 4K option, as of right now, like I said, schedules can change. The final 4K option for this date is The Sandman Season 1 on 4K. Now that show was on Netflix, and I guess it was popular enough to get a 4K release. I never watched this show. I'm not really sure what it's about. So again, it's another case of I just don't need it because what I don't know I'm not missing and I would rather put my money, my, I've messed up a couple of times during this video, but that's okay. We're just going to push forward. I'd rather put my money towards other things during the month of November because there's just so many other awesome brand new releases. So as of right now, that is the current November 4k, you know, you guys already know. You know what? This this video is all messed up. It is all messed up, but that is okay. That is the current 4K schedule release for the month of November. There we go. So comment down below and let me know what do you plan on picking up next month in November. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. Sorry, and I'll see you next time.